everybody. This is a quick tutorial to show you how to import uh, test banks from a third-party vendor such as Pearson, McGraw-Hill, or Cengage, just to name a few, into your Canvas course. So some of you may be using one of these vendors or a different one, and they do give you options where you can, uh, in their test banks, where you can download their tests and bring them into Canvas. Now, a lot of times they will give you an option to just download the docs, which you can do that, but it makes it more difficult to get those things in because then the documents have to be processed or formatted. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you another option that many of these uh, vendors offer, which is to download their QTI file. And so that's a fancy term for a zipped file that has a XML file in it, and you don't even open it. You just download the zip, and then you're able inside of Canvas to import it in. Canvas will recognize this zip file, but you have to know, first of all, that it exists, and also that you can actually download these things from many of your um, vendors, meaning that they'll give you the option for the format. I'm going to show you real quick. Here is like on uh, McGraw Hill where you would go in, you'd see your test library like here, and then you would click on your exam, and then usually they will have options and they will give you the option to export uh, a test as a QTI file. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick, and I'm going to leave some links in the video uh, if you want to watch the other part of how do I, you know, actually get to the point of getting here, well, there's some great videos that they've already created, and I will put some links in the description of this video. So with further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do after you have downloaded your QTI file, you want to make sure to put it in a folder on your desktop. That way you can get to it quickly and you don't have to go looking for it. So the first step in this process is from your one of your main pages where all your navigation resides you want to go to the bottom and click on the settings link after we do that it's going to load up and we're going to come over here to the right hand side and we're going to look for import course content and we're going to click on that link so when we get to this point you can see here that we have an import content area with a drop down menu so we're going to click on the drop down and we are going to go all the way to the bottom and choose the QTI zip file option. Next, we need to choose where the QTI file is that we downloaded from uh, the vendor. You'll click on the choose file and you'll navigate to wherever the folder is. These are some QTI zip files that I have for an example. And I'm just going to choose one. Here's Canvas, you know, Chapter 8 quiz. I'm going to click open. And then next, it asks uh, the default question bank. It gives you a selection where you can choose, and I recommend that you choose Create New Question Bank, just like so. You can put a name in, but to be honest with you, in my experience, even if you name it, it doesn't name it. It'll, it's going to show up in your test banks as some weird name, and I'll explain later. But I'll show you. This is a test. That's what we'll call it. But sadly, it's not going to show up. I don't know why. That's one of those weird Canvas universe questions. So after you put in all this information, click the import button. Now what it's going to do is you're going to see here it's going to run through the action of unpacking it and putting it in. When it's completed, you'll see the green bar that says complete. So now we know we're finished. The next step is to go to quizzes. Now, granted, it doesn't create the quiz. It only creates the questions that were going into it. So you'll still have to create a quiz, and I'll show you that here momentarily. Uh, the first thing we're going to do after you have imported it and it says it's completed is to go up to the quizzes section, and then up here in the corner, there is next to the quiz button, there is a button, or I call it an action button, with the three dots. We're going to click on that, and we're going to go to Manage Question Banks. And you'll see right here, it, uh, it created, you can see by the timestamp that it created this, this box. And so in case I wanted to call it chapter nine, well, actually I can use the number nine uh, questions. So I could go ahead and change the name just by clicking on that pencil icon and then typing it in the window there. Now I have it ready and I can go back now 
two quizzes once again. And let's say that I were going to, I was going to add it to this exam right here. I could click on this final exam, or let's say I created a brand new quiz, and it'll just create the shell like this, and you can go to edit. And then after you get to this point, you can go to the questions tab. Now, a lot of them obviously won't have any questions in it when you create a brand new one, or if you're adding it to an existing, that's fine. But what you can do is come down to the bottom, and you can click on the Find Questions tab here, and look what I have. I have the Chapter 9 questions. And I can go through, and I can either select all of them, or I can just choose specific ones. You know, just whatever I, whatever I need to do. I can click on this, and once I've done that, I can just go ahead and and um, and then save. Uh, I can go ahead and save that by clicking on the save button. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. Had my picture in the way. My apologies. And so now I've added more questions, and that is pretty much the steps to downloading a QTI file and importing it. More importantly, into your Canvas course. I hope that this quick tutorial has been helpful. If you need uh, any further assistance, please reach out to us via the information at the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching.